Hey guys, it's Ashley your Scrapping Nerd here. I have another spring layout for you. Um, some of these more ephemera from the Echo Park, My Favorite Spring, and My Favorite Easter. And that's where this paper is from as well. I'm going to use this flower part here. Um, it has that pink gingham on the back. Uh, this is just some green paper from my stash. This is a basil um, dot paper. And then this is uh, Echo Park as well. These are some simple stories sticker sheets that I have that I'm going to use a few of the things from. So I'm going to start with this pink dot paper. This is going to be the back paper. So I'm actually going to gut the middle part out so that I can use that to back um, my title later on. So I'm just gutting out the middle there. You can see that. And then when I, I decided I wanted this flower paper and I put it on there and I just felt like this, it needed to have the green border between the two just to kind of help differentiate from that. And I really liked that bloom um, card for a title, but then I decided on this spring is in the air. And I rearranged my photos a lot because that square, empty square in the middle of the page really bugged me. But I thought I'd just go ahead and start working on the four by six title here, making the mats for that and not worry about that open space. Maybe the mats would help fill it in was what I was thinking. But, you know, still rearranging the, the photos. And I actually, the title ends up at the top in the end, but the same kind of idea. And then I'm gonna gut this uh, green layer as well because I wanna put a green mat between the spring is in the air for four by six card and the po the pink polka dot so and I didn't have another one of this green paper plus um, you don't see the middle of it so I'm gonna work on this mat for the title and it's gonna have that same just kind of skinny green line that surrounds it to separate it from the pink dot paper so I'm getting that worked out and I'm actually going to use this Distress Oxide in Cracked Pistachio just to add that extra differentiation between the green and the pink dot. It just kind of helps highlight it a little bit. So now that I have like the title matte together, I'm going to tape down the, the layers here and you can see I put the tape on all four sides and then you're gonna see I'm gonna bit I'm gonna pull back just a little bit a uh, corner of the tape and just kind of fold it over so that when I line it up on the green paper where I want it I can just pull that um, little tab that I make and not actually have to worry about the paper shifting and becoming all wonky so that's just a little trick that I do to help try to line everything up. And I left this part in um, so that you can see there. I'm gonna do the same exact thing when I put the green on the pink dot, but I cut that part out. But see the little tabs kind of stick out. And so once I get it lined up, I can just pull the little tabs and it keeps the paper in from being all wonky. So, and then I'm gonna add that cracked pistachio to the green paper as well. And then here's where I use that washi tape that I don't really like, but I do it when I got paper just so that things don't get caught when I'm sliding the paper in and out of the page protector. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing for the um, pink dot paper as well. I'll put some washi tape on the back. So here's where I decide. I think I want the title at the top, and so I'm going to rearrange the photos. The one on the upper right of Gracie is longer because it's a little bit closer. So she stays up there in the, the top. And then I'm like, well, still that square is bothering me in the middle, but I'm going to do my photo mats in hopes that maybe that helps fill in the square a little bit. So I'm going to use some of that basil um, dot paper to mat all the photos with. And then I'm gonna use that Distress Ink up there in the right corner, the Victorian Velvet, just to go around the photos as well. 
And the photo mat still didn't help fill in that blank square in the middle. So I found this little piece of ephemera that I'm like, well, that'll work perfect. I need to cut it down a little bit so that it fits in there and that I can line all the photos up um, even with it. So, and that just helps my eye better. I, I, all I could do was stare at that empty square in the middle and it was just bugging me. So that helped fill that area in there. So then I'm gonna start adding my embellishments. I have this little butterfly. I have no idea where that came from. It's been in my stash for a while. And then all these um, little stickers here are from the Simple Story sticker sheets. And I'm just kind of moving them around. Those ladybugs there, I couldn't decide if I wanted three in a row or have one on the right side of the flower pots. Um, so I think in the end I have one on the right side. But And then I just loved this wheelbarrow. And so I put it over here in the cluster. I needed a little bird with a birdhouse. So I think I get him there. And that little sentiment there, I think it says, uh, here comes the sun. So I'm going to um, glue down just the middle part of that butterfly and leave his wings up so that it's popped off the page a little bit. And I'm gonna be adding foam to the back of the bee and the wheelbarrow and the little um, ladybugs down there and one of the flower pots. And I just do this so that my little embellishment clusters have some dimension and everything's not just stacked on top of each other. I really like to add foam to some things within the embellishment clusters. So, and then the foam sheet, I've removed all the dots and used them already, but then the actual piece of foam still works. So you can see I just cut it out and stuck it on the back of that little barrel, but it still works as a foam to lift it up. So, and then I put some foam on the bird so that he's like sitting on this little sign there by his birdhouse. So these are really cute. Um stickers that they had on there and I think it went perfect with these with my girls and their little daisy headbands this is Gracie and Zoe here so and see I'm gonna put that flower pot flat and then the the next little flower pot I'm gonna have up on foam and you can see I put the little sign that says flowers in there too it just helps when it's popped up just to add that little dimension I just decided to put one of those little ladybugs on the, the right side so they weren't just in one line. So, and then I have my bee up there. Oh, first I'm going to add just a little bling to the center of that flower just to make that square interesting to me. But so my little bee up there, I'm going to add like a, I don't know what it's called, but he's flying around like a little tail. You'll see here. So I just used one of my pink markers. I don't know what you call that flight pattern maybe that's what it is. The B flight pattern. So here's the layout guys. Here's some close-ups for you and uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel. The photos are coming up. Thanks everyone. Have a good day.